The first thing I would say is that it's obviously tragic. Um, it's an absolutely tragic set of events. I said that at the time. Um, we all wish that Amy could still be here with us. Um, obviously for Mr and Mrs Woodward, um, it's absolutely mortifying. Uh, well, um, I've done a recent article on secondary schools, Paul. You've inter interviewed me in the past over primary school um, attainment here. Uh, my findings from the secondary school was the catalyst to make me go up in person on the hill. And I've asked for a select committee to investigate the academic standards of our schools, both at primary and secondary level. I want to look at the key performance indicators. My concern on the promenade is purely relating to tourism, so relating and representing hoteliers, more importantly, um, um, but then businesses as well on the promenade. There's also things came out like, I mean, I'd already heard that the trams are making too much noise or the, the rails are too noisy against the wheels and they're, they're going back to look at that. Some of the concrete potentially question marks about that. What did you pick up? Yeah, I mean, that, that's the sort of information I've been given over the last several weeks. So I have been asking these questions. Some of the scenes are actually it's almost word like for word. like, yeah, word for word, so, like for like. You got the the classic numbers, you know, scene in the rain, good morning, make them laugh, all the yes. toe tapping. They're doing what they're rehearsing now, a massive Broadway ballet, um, which is a huge part of the film, and likewise, it's going to be a massive standout uh, in the second act of the show. It's really important to get the right stock in the Isle of Man meat factory and I've been appointed as the procurement officer for predominantly lamb. Um, sheep is my passion so it probably fits quite well with me really. It's a case of it's the ongoing works on the promenade and they, they haven't got an idea what timeline they're going to be finished in. I mean so far revenues down, sales are down, footfalls down. I mean going forward as a business you have to think about cutting overheads and keeping things down until you actually get through every, through this period. Um, my petition is to help victims of sexual abuse in uh, high schools. Um, at the moment they're uh, in, in schools with the perpetrators which I'm getting or trying to get changed. Um, so basically we think that um, the government has not acted um, fast enough on climate change. Um, they have basically um, slowed down the process by saying that they're going to arrange um, a, a, a meeting um, and a committee when already the um, intergovernmental panel of climate change has already um, given plenty of evidence and um, ideas for mitigation um, on climate change and um, I think that the government really needs to pay attention to that. Well, I mean, let's cut to the chase here. I mean, uh, as residents of the Isle of Man, we're all used to, all around the island, roadworks taking somewhat longer than we'd like and we sort of accept it. But this, this work down here is, it, is a completely different level. Nobody supports the need for this work to be done more than I do. But uh, I'm now becoming increasingly concerned as, a, as to how this job is rolling out. Yeah, her daughter Amy was diagnosed with an ovarian cyst. And she was taken into Nobles Hospital where she had an operation to remove the said cyst. Uh, the operation, we were told, went well, although it was prolonged. Amy was then, Amy basically um, died on the operating table. Uh, they, they, they brought her back. And in our opinion, she should have been put into a high dependency ward to be monitored, but she wasn't. She was put into a gynecology ward. <laughs> 